Hi everyone, this is Ryan Alvey, Chief Operating Officer of Titronic Software. Uh, what we're wanting to introduce is a piece of software we call Procedural Guidance, or for short, Pro-G. Now it's what we believe cutting edge and the first of its kind as we're introducing procedural guidance in an augmented reality form. Now what you can see is a platform. What it is, it's intrinsically safe, field deployable. You can see that it's built into just a normal hard hat. What it, hold, uh, what it houses is what's called the Microsoft HoloLens 2. This is your actual viewing augmented reality platform that is XE rated, meaning you do not have to wear safety glasses over this. It's ready and field deployable. Essentially what we're going to do is put together a 13 and 5 8 10K stack via the Pro-G software system. And now we see the procedure up there. I'm going to grab it, click it, just kind of move it out of the way a little bit. It's getting a little too close. Now up here I can see all of the components that make up the stack. Now I can actually grab that stack and I can move it closer to myself and put it in a more manipulatable way where I can start now mocking it up. And actually I can grab it with two hands and rotate it and go that way. So I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and then we're going to start from here. So step one, identify the wellhead casing on the ground. So what you're going to notice is the, uh, the green and yellow flashing uh, actual piece of equipment, that is going to be the step that it's associated to. So essentially, let's pretend that's the wellhead. Okay, so we've identified step one. There is the wellhead. Now, let's go to step number two. Select a gasket to attach to casing. All right, so we have a gasket here identified. We're just going to grab that. That's going to go over there straight on top of that. And now we'll go to step number three. Notice how everything closes out. We want to go ahead and select the single RAM to set on the uh, casing, uh, to set on the gasket on the casing. So again, there's your single RAM. It's highlighted. I grab it, click it. It goes and sets up. Let's go on to the next procedure. Select the gasket, attach that to the single RAM. So remember, it's always reminding you to put a gasket in between each component. So many people, I don't know how many times forget to do that, and then we have really bad seals. And then we have potential well control uh, problems going forward. So I've done step four now. I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Now let's go ahead and select the drilling spool to attach to the gasket on the single ram. Now I've got the drilling spool. I'm going to point at that, click that. That's going to move over. It is now attached. Now normally what happens here, you're going to go ahead and get start bolting everything together. You're going to get the guys coming out with a torque wrench. They're going to be torquing everything up to a certain pressure. We actually have the, uh, the capability to show exactly where that pressure torque is when it's in the perfect range and display it to the user who's doing that in an AR environment and actually be able to report all of those numbers in that data to ensure the integrity of the bolt, that it's not over torqued and it's not under torqued. So now, now that I've got the drilling spool attached, I'm going to go ahead and move to the next procedure. And that is number six. Again, we want to place another basket, uh, another gasket. Gasket is placed. Move on to the next procedure. Seven. Now we want to go ahead and do the double rim. Obviously, we can see that highlighted. We're going to point at that. Click it. It's going to move right to it. All right. We'll close out that procedure. Move forward. Select the gasket to attach the double ram. There's the gasket. Selected. That is now moved. And now we're going to go ahead and close that out. And we're going to go ahead and put the annular on top of that. So now we have completed the stack. We're going to go back, but it's not showing again the bolting of everything, but that's another piece where we can overlay. We're on the process of doing that. So the point is this is we can take an AutoCAD drawing and we can manipulate this hologram any which way we can. One, we can use it for training for people who are out there. Another thing too is we can use it for uh, getting in and troubleshooting. And another thing as well is when you're actually with a, say, a drilling contractor actually rigging up the stack itself, you can have what we call a digital twin which is what you're looking at right here, ensuring that what you are doing in real time, in real life, is accurate. So this is 100% accurate. The procedures are executed. You can also run different sensitivity or sensitivity scenarios against it and see where the failures could be to ensure when you actually do the real procedure 
that that is not going to happen again. We're eliminating the human error element out of rigging up a very highly critical component of a rig site. With that, this demo is done. So guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you a high level highlight of exactly the value that we can deliver. Again, remember, intrinsically safe, houses the hollow lens too, augmented reality, procedural guidance. We're protecting the human condition. We are taking out human error out of all procedures. So with that, I just want to go ahead and close, say thank you for your time. If you need us, call us. We're on the web, www.titronics.com. Love to hear from you. Talk soon.